I'm Ray, I'm going to answer a question that somebody put to me on Instagram. I'm Uncle Steph, by the way. I'm mainly a front-end dev, and I got an offer to complete a project. He shows me a mock-up, and it appears to be a web-based game where you click from screen to screen. He, they said it's half done, and asked me how long it would take to complete it. My thing is, I have no idea how long it would take, so I'm afraid to give them a number. Any advice? Well, it's good that you are afraid because it's impossible for you to say how long it's going to take until you start looking at the code. First of all, you have to look at the code base, see if it's well written to begin with. Because if it's a mess, it might be really difficult to complete. Number two, how do they know whether or not it's halfway done or three quarters of the way done? Typically, non-developers have no inclination whatsoever in terms of how long it takes something to do. From my experience, non-developers will look at something that's really easy to implement, and in their heads, it's really hard, and then they'll look at something that's really hard to implement, and in their heads, they'll think it's really easy. So you say, I have to look at the code, see if it's clean or not, then I have to get a feature spec from you guys to determine what exactly we need to do to complete this, and then after looking at that, then you'll be able to judge how long it's going to take. Now here's the trick. How long will it take you to figure this out with a reasonable level of certainty? You don't know. Depends on uh, your skill level. It depends on what exactly the game is doing, how clean the code is. In a professional context, what you got to do is you got to get some sort of fee. You got to say, listen, I got to look at this. It's going to take me time to look at this, so I don't work for free. You have to pay me for my time to look at this. And say you're going to take at least an hour, I don't know, three hours, depending on the complexity of the game. I don't know how simple it is and so on. You know, with experience, you'd be able to make a better judgment that way. You'd be able to look, okay, this might take me an hour to figure out what's going on behind the scenes. This might take me three hours. Who knows? I don't know what the game is, so I couldn't give you a number. But you look at it, try to make your best judgment. I say I need at least an hour to look at this. And, I, and I'm, I'm going to come back with some assessment. I'm going to get paid. You have to get paid for it. If they don't, they don't want to pay you for that assessment, then walk away because it's not reasonable for you to be able to uh, make a judgment call. It's not like a mechanic uh, that's working on a car that they have the specifications for. If it's all pre-made where they can kind of, they can run, plug in a diagnostic system and they know the car, you know, an engine in an Audi S5 is 2010 is made the same way. An engine in a Porsche 911 uh, 2020, they're all made the same way. So it's much easier to assess a problem in a prefabricated piece of software or, or a car or whatever, as opposed to trying to assess a problem in some sort of custom from scratch bespoke system. You don't know the details of the system. You don't know how it's engineered. So it's much far harder for you to assess how long some custom system is going to take to fix because it's custom. If it was standardized, much easier. So you got to get paid for your time to assess these things. And this is par for the course in the software development game. If they're not willing to do it, you know, walk away, man. Just walk away from that gig. All right. I hope that helps. Bye-bye. My name is Uncle Steph, and I teach people how to become pro developers. So the foundation is code, but then you learn to think like an advanced developer. You learn great coding practices. You understand the basics of great coding, refactoring, design patterns. You understand about the infrastructure of the internet and the web. You learn how to have con conversations with people to the interpersonal soft skills that people talk about. You know that recruiters, Recruiters will say the number two thing they look for in software developers is their soft skills. So you got to have that as well. I also teach you how to run projects and so much more, so much more. So if you're looking for a unique boot camp mentoring program where you're taught by me, somebody who's been coding since the 90s, take a look.